<laughs> but I mean, most people would be surprised that you did work with Shaq. Yeah, 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 yeah. Quick and I, uh, we did uh, one of Shaq's uh, uh, biggest records. Um, uh, what was it called? Uh, uh, Straight Plan. Did, yeah. Did, did it seem like a, 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 as I said, you know, Shaq, an NBA player, did it feel as if okay, we're just this is like a novelty stuff, like Deion Sanders um, um, must be the money. <laughs> you know what? At first, when when we got the call, of course, that was the you know first thing that I thought. You know, <laughs> you know, just, just you know, just, just just another athlete that can you know do what he wants. You know, <laughs> if you want to rap, of course, you know, you you know you. But once I heard him, like once, oh. once we got into the studio and I heard, I was like, wow, like this dude really can rap. Oh. Like this, you know, like this ain't a gimmick. Like this dude can rap. Okay. You know? Yeah. So like he they, he really surprised me. I was like, wow. And and then, you know, that's that's what I took it more serious. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know, because at first, of course, back then it was just about, you know, us us all being celebrities. And it's kind of like, and it was about the money. Mm-hmm. You know, and it was Shaq. You know, Shaq came to LA. You know, you know, he he was one of us now. He, he was playing for the Lakers. And, okay, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So uh, but I mean he surprised me, man. Like, I'm like, wow, this dude can really rap. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. It, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, he yeah, I mean, he did the the movie that wasn't great, Shazam, but or uh, something like that. Was it um I can't remember what it was, but yeah, the the album did didn't do too bad, and he also featured on Michael Jackson's uh, history album, you know. So he, yeah. he, he he so he 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 did have some some skills in, in there. Um, yeah. When you think back at 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 your stuff at that time, because I did remember that you did stuff with BBD back in um, I think it was their their last album that came out in twenty seventeen or so. Yes, yes, I did. Yeah, I did. Um... I did a record for them. Uh, it's called, uh, oh, it was called Find a Way. Okay. And actually what's, what's crazy is that I also did a record that's called Find a Way on this artist named Duelle. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So and that was back in um, 2000, I'm going to say 2003, 2004. But this the, the record that I did on on BBD is called Find a Way and uh, Ricky Bell, Ricky is a a good friend of mine. So Rick called me uh, because you know they have been saying that you know that they wanted to work with me over the oh. years. So you know when this opportunity came, uh, Ricky Rick called me and asked me for a record. So when I sent the record over to him, they loved the record. So. Once once we cut the record, we did the record. I turned, I, I I mixed it and I turned it in, and then the the label heard it, and the label um, asked them, you know, how come the rest of the records don't sound like this record? <laughs> so so from there, I, I get a um, I get a phone call from Rick and the and, and the guys, and. Um, they um they were asking me to to fix and mix other records the other producers I did on that album wow yes so i did that so i'm i'm a part of i believe maybe six records on that album wow yeah okay. yeah so yeah because they you know they they love the sound yeah yeah now i'll go back and listen to it i did buy the album and i did like it um I did, unfortunately it didn't get I won't say it didn't get promoted, but I think the industry has changed so much that it's it songs have to go viral and and you don't sell CDs, so it's really hard to judge success unless. And it was pre TikTok, so it, it it's it's a really different ball game to make music. I mean, since then, I mean, what's been the the anything recently that you've you've worked on, or, or what's it like being a producer now, where um, the industry and labels aren't um I I saw somewhat selective with black music and so what what is it that you've been doing since really just um more so now uh developing my brand because it's you know these days it's more than just producing it's more than just doing music um anything associated with uh with music these days 
really has to have a purpose behind it. Like, you know, it has to be more than just music. Like I'm, I'm doing a host of uh, independent artists, of course. And uh, like um, I did uh, a couple of records on, uh, on Corrupt. Okay. Uh, yeah, you know, you know, Corrupt is working on a project. I'm doing a lot of stuff outside of me too that's, that's still related, um, but it's really more brand related, you know? Um, uh, and then I've gotten into like, you know, the whole uh, crypto and Bitcoin and all that other stuff. So, so, so it, I'm doing, I'm doing a host of things, you know, these days, man. So, um, I mean, you know, put, you know so, so financially you're settled with, with all your investments and stuff, but the music side, it's, it's, is it, because if we reflect back to the, your days at, at death row, where you were just so you were inundated with just doing, going into the studio, do you miss, I mean, not the, the hostile environment of death row, but do you miss those days of just working and creating music and just having and seeing it out on the radio and stuff? Um, or are, are you in a better place now? No, I, I do. I, I miss the, the simplicity of, of the format that worked. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I do miss, you know, you, you put the work in, you, you know, create these magical records and they go through the machine and the world gets to enjoy, you know, the fruits of your labor. The world yeah. gets to enjoy, you know, uh, you know, gets to share, your, you know, your music with you. You know, it was simple, <laughs> you know, <laughs> uh, and it's, it's not like that no more, you know. Like you can't, you know, we used to be able to just walk a, a record into radio. You can't do that no more. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it's, you know, just the, just the whole politics of the music business has taken over music mm. and its talent. It's not the same, you know? And it, that, you know, to me, that's when it's not fun no more. Mm. So when it's not fun, you know, for me, you know, I just kind of, I, I take a back seat, you know, when it comes to certain things. Like, I'm just kind of like, uh, you know. So is it that you don't, you don't necessarily need to, and I won't say you don't need to work, but is it that if you have the opportunity to make records, you can, but it's not something that you, you know, it's not stuff that um, you almost need to be working just to, to, to make it by. I mean, what's the situation like when it comes to, as a, as a producer who was very busy back in the 90s and, 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 and early 2000s, is it at a point where you do it out of fun now or is? Yeah, because, you know, God blessed me to where, you know, I, I put in a lot of work and, you know, I've sold a lot of records throughout my career. So I'm, you know, I'm pretty much, I still get my publishing and, you know, and, Apart uh, from death row, <laughs> <laughs> outside of death row, but, you know, I still you know, I still get my royalties and and you know God's blessed God has blessed me to where it's, you know I can pretty much live off my royalties if I wanted to, you know so it does you know allow me the freedom to explore, okay, and and you know and and to really understand what my purpose is in the next uh, in the second uh, you know second half of my life. Mm. You know, so I've been, I've been awarded that, and you know, I thank God for that. But you know, again, you know, I'm I'm still producing, but you know, anything that I do, it has to have a purpose attached to it. I just don't, I don't get up and go to the studio every day, mm -hmm. like I used to. I don't get up and 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 uh, you know, the first thing I do is to you know do a beat. I don't, I don't do that no more. But when you say it has you know, to have a purpose, what 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 does that mean? Like uh, like BBD, for example. Yeah. You know. So in other words, you know, they're working on an album. They 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 have a machine behind them. They have a label. You know, all the components are in place. You know, but as far as me just doing it, you know, believing in somebody else's dream, and you know, they don't have a purpose. They don't have a label. They don't have. I can't. I'm not doing it. <laughs> but you say you do <laughs> stuff for independent artists, though. I mean, yeah, that was... but yeah, but those. Most most of the independent artists that I do things for, they 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 have distribution. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. So that you know that's the new independent game. Is most of them go out and they land a distribution deal. So at least I know that the record has a chance to come out. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You know. Okay. But but as far as me just 
uh, you know, passing beats out, you know, like these new producers and uh, I'm not that producer. Did you, yeah. did you ever get into wanting to develop your own artism and, and, and stuff? I did uh, before the industry changed. Okay. Once the industry changed and the, and the record label started um, shutting down mm. and they started merging and shutting down and, um, and you know, the politics uh, got different. It, it kind of just, it, it turned me off. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for being part of the Half Time Chat community. Please remember to like, share and subscribe. Uh, but most importantly, why don't you consider being a member as a way of supporting the channel, but also getting a lot of videos ahead of time, a lot of behind the scenes stuff and some exclusive content that doesn't get shared. But anyway, thanks for watching and thanks for being part of Halftime Chat.